guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome my name is Charlotte and I upload at least twice every week usually on a Tuesday but I do like to occasionally just pop up and surprise you and you know maybe ruin your day <laughs> so for today's video we're going to be trying out this brand new mascara from Huda Beauty this is the legit lashes double-ended dual purpose multi-functioning multi you know it's double-ended just leave it at that uh, so this is supposed to launch actually until I think either the 20th or 21st I, I remember not I'm afraid but I noticed it pop up on Harrods website on Friday and I was like having one of those before they realise their mistake and take it back down. It seems to still be there at the moment that I'm filming this but you know once they see this video and realise they messed up it may quickly go back down again but it is currently available on Harrods website so I snapped one up so that I could share with you guys my thoughts and let you know all the tea on this mascara and whether or not it's worth your money so without further ado let's see what it do here is the packaging it's that sort of plastic that you're like bound to you know rip open a finger with but it opens nice and easy and then this is the component inside it's definitely very different it doesn't remind me of any other mascara packaging i have ever seen it's like a sort of what would that be very unique like diamond shape to it it is large i'm just going to show you it so this is my monsieur big and then this is the huda so yeah it does look big you are definitely getting a lot for your money my monsieur big is 10 mil which is a pretty average an amount for a mascara and in here you've got two lots of eight and a half so it is a decent amount so what i'm going to do is they've got the two distinct styles of lash so this side is the volume and this side is the curl and length now Huda suggests using volume first and then curl and length so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do volume on this side curl and length on this side just on their own to see what the two different effects of the different ends of this mascara do to my lashes and then I'll layer them in reverse so this side I'll go curl and length what <laughs> this side I'll go volume then curl and length this side curl and length then volume so we can see all four different ways that you can wear this mascara certainly has that typical mascara smell smells like every other mascara so this is the volume side and I'm surprised because this is kind of that rubber bristled type of brush with the curved shape and it's got those lovely sort of sticking up bristles on the very tip that will be ideal for getting into inner corners but this looks more of a I would expect this to be the curling and lifting side as generally volumizing mascara is a sort of that much fatter bristly type brush as opposed to these rubber bristles so that's interesting so let's go on this side by the way if you see anything weird with my makeup this just arrived after I'd already done my makeup for today so I had to take my mascara off and like start again with a sort of very questionable reapplication of everything so that's probably what's going on now i like to coat my lashes from underneath and then from the top down this is i love this type of brush like it really combs through your lashes um lovely bristles i love i love a good rubber bristle i do and these little bristles on the end that kind of stick up they're perfect for getting into the inner corners it's so hard applying mascara on camera because you sort of want to look down into your mirror to stop it getting on your eyelid but that's kind of hard to do and stay in shot so it's always a bit of a messier application on camera so that gives a very nice natural lash i will say i'm i am surprised because this really looks like a curled and lifted lash to me very nice and natural it has obviously got volume but it to me this is like what i expect to see on the other side so it's going to be interesting actually to see what the other side 
does. So let's go in now with the curl and length side. Okay, okay. So this is the curl and length side and it is much smaller of a brush. Very fine little bristles there. Interesting, but again, it's those sort of rubber bristles. So I can see now that this is the curl and length side, like it's definitely smaller of a brush than the, the volume side. It's like the, the bristles are very hard, like I can feel them, if that makes sense, like combing through my lashes. So they're really going to be great at separating, like it's not a sort of soft, flexible brush. It's very like firm, like a comb. Definitely shape of that brush is getting every last lash, that's for sure. I love that you've got the two options as well. Well, really, you've got as many options as you want because you can apply them just on their own or you can layer them. You can layer them in either order. So you're going to get lots of different effects. So to me, at this stage, I don't feel like I look like I've applied two different mascaras. They look pretty similar. They're both giving a very nice separated lash. Like neither side is at all clumpy. It's completely smoothly applied. Like, but they do look very similar to me. I, I can't really see much of a more volumized side. Maybe this side has slightly more volume than this side. But yeah, I think I don't look at all, I don't think like I've applied two different mascaras, but both sides I think look beautiful. Very like natural, separated, lifted, curled all of the above. So now I'm going to go over the top. This is the side, remember, that we've used the volume side on first. So now I'm going to go curl and length over the top of the volume and see how these build. So that's now set nicely so I can build. It's definitely really easy to comb through your lashes this comb for sure. And short of just the issue with me applying mascara on camera and trying to stay in shot, it's not a messy mascara. It doesn't feel super wet. I'm not getting any transfer that isn't just my fault because I'm applying, you know, on camera and not quite at the angle I would choose usually. Wow, so that's a really... Wow, I feel like it's making a very dramatic lash, as in, you know, a big, bold fake looking lash which is what I love but it's not giving me the clumpiness that I get from say my Monsieur Big it's keeping a lot of lashes it's keeping a lot of separation so you can see now the difference with the two sides layered versus one side and um, you know that's really added a lot more drama so now I'm going to layer the volume side on top of the curl and length side this is confusing let me tell you we can see if we end up with two different looks or if they do end up pretty similar a little trickier to do it this way because this brush is much more bendy and flexible um, so I do think she's right I think this side is probably better to go in with first because obviously once your lashes have got a coat of mascara and they've set they will become quite firm and hard as sort of comb through so with a flexible brush you're maybe not going to get the comb through that you want. I feel like this side has a wetter formula the um, volume side I feel like has a wetter formula than the curl and lift. Neither I don't think is as like wet as the Lancome Monsieur Big which I know is an issue for lots of people. I have got some transfer there but that is just from the fact that I can't hold my mirror and look down as I normally would and that is easily rectified once it's dried. We can just buff that off. Okay so this is now the two lashes with both have had a second coat of either end. So this side we went volume then curl and length which is what Huda recommends I think. I think that's what she said. And then this side is curl and length and then volume. They look very similar. I think this side has that more clumpy look um, and it was slightly trickier to apply in this order. Um, this side remained super separated and defined whereas this side probably maybe it's got hair more volume but it's a little more on that clumpy side. I'm just going to now like add a curl and length on both sides to see what like a third coat 
will do because that's just the kind of girl I am. I really like this side to layer because it is that really hard brush. It's really actually helping you to comb through so you can build like drama but still keep the separation. It's really easy to work with perfect size because the brush is nice and thin it really looked like it wasn't going to sort of add any drama because the brush is quite small but it somehow manages to be a small brush which is good because you can keep it away from your skin easier stop it touching your eyelid but it's still giving me all the drama you expect from a much fatter brush which is awesome those are certainly some pretty big lashes now. I know mascara is so subjective, but for me, the bigger is the better. I know that's not everybody's taste, but obviously you just stop at one coat or two coats, whatever your preference is. Okay, so this is three coats now um, on both sides. I think they both look very similar, both sides. I don't think there's a marked difference at this point. Um, super dramatic obviously I feel like it's allowed me to keep a lot of separation but it's definitely given me like a super dramatic lash like I feel like this lash is as dramatic as any mascara I've used I'm just going to quickly go run a tiny bit of this across my lower lash line because that's something a lot of more dramatic mascaras you can't really do because they do have those ginormous brushes which for me when obviously I have quite long lower lashes it's very hard for me to get a little bit of mascara just to colour them you know and define them a little bit without them getting absolutely crazily long whereas I feel like again this brush being smaller I'm able to sort of just give them a little touch without touching my skin, without touching my under eye area, I am able to actually get a nice natural sort of cover on those lower lashes, which is something that I really struggle with with my Monsieur Big because the brush is so large. It's very hard for me to get under there. Okay, so this is three coats of this mascara and the lower lash line all covered I found it really easy to do a lower lash line I really struggle with my lower lashes because they're so long um but I do just want you know to sort of just add a bit of tint to them but not necessarily make them any longer or fatter otherwise they quite quickly get ridiculous and it was really easy to actually apply there because the brush is so small it's just perfect for lower lashes as well um mega drama these top lashes aren't they i mean three coats obviously you don't have to do that many you do as many as you want whatever your personal preference is it's totally up to you i think it's a beautiful mascara absolutely beautiful very dramatic without getting super clumpy staying nice and separated and i was able to build and build without having any issues at all i think it's very good like fair play i love that you can use both sides both sides look beautiful on their own that's giving you you know a lot more mascara for your money but yeah i am impressed these are just how i like them a very very dramatic lash so there you have it guys i am impressed i think it's beautiful it's huge i feel like you can pretty much get any effect you want from this mascara like as you saw with one coat of either side you're going to get a nice separated lifted natural looking lash by piling it on as i do every time i do my mascara you can get the biggest fattest possible lash that you want it was really easy to apply i feel like the firmer wand that is the curl and length side really does give you that separation so whatever happens you can comb through any clumps and i really like that um i love both sides i don't feel like there was a huge difference that you could notice between one side and the other when i first initially used you know each side to compare but layered on i think that hood is right i think when you layer them it's best to go in with the volume side first because the curl and length that firmer wand is going to allow you to brush or comb out any sort of clumpiness any lashes sticking together that you don't want and any unwanted you know 
clumping you can just comb it straight through and lift the lashes and really define the lashes as much as you want and you can go from under the lash and above the lash down as I did <laughs> down and um, that one will really help you do that because it's so nice and small and thin that you can get really close to the lash line which I really appreciate I think this mascara is amazing I'm definitely gonna let you know in the comment section down below I'll pin a comment to let you know if there's any flaking or if there's any smudging pardon me underneath the lash line throughout the day I've got you know it's only lunchtime here so I've got the rest of the day to wear this now by the time this video goes up I'll have a good idea of whether any bad stuff has gone down throughout the day um, so yeah if you have any other questions I haven't answered in the video for you please ask them down below and I hope you have a great rest of your day take care for now bye bye bye, bye.